Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can notice today we are going to take a look at the fresh release from Minyard. It is molded in 135 scale obviously and it copies US Jeep, Crew and MPs. So it might be handy addition to your vehicle or maybe diorama build. And we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what is depicted here and also in our video review. So here we get a small note that there should be five figures just like it is depicted on the box art. And overall box size is typical for this brand here. You can see comparison with my hand. We also have some nice box art here. I was just trying to find who drew it but I don't see any mention. And on the side we have some other kits here so we can review them as well so you can find it easily on our YouTube channel. And on the opposite side you can notice the safety information which might be handy for some beginners. Here we have a painting guide which is combined together with the assembly manual and also small paint chart here in several paint numbers or paint manufacturer designations so you will be able to find whatever paint you use for your builds. This is a side opening box and here is what we have inside. As you can see all frames are packed into one plastic bag. It is sealed as usual for Minyard and we are going to open it with scissors and check what is actually supplied here in this kit. So just give me a second. Okay. Straight away I'm a bit surprised with the amount of plastic spruce inside. So it will be interesting to see why there are so many plastic frames. And I'm taking it out. So in a second we will see all this stuff together. I would like to start with the decals sheet, which is not that large here. But it is quite an unusual addition for a figure set. So as you can see we have various insignia here. And that's what exactly what I was saying before that some figure sets really need this stuff included into the kit. Because sometimes you can't even copy the small signs on the figure's outfit. And here you get a decals which should might be helpful in this thing. What I'm bit confused now because we have three figures molded here on the same plastic frame. Let's zoom out a bit, open the camera and now you should be able to see that we have a typical parts division for 135 scale. Molding quality seems to be okay. There is a um, small amount of flash around some parts but I don't think that will be a huge issue because it should be easy to clean. And here on the other side you can notice that there are no guiding elements whatsoever so you will have to be careful while assembling all this stuff together. Next we go on with this plastic sprue. So this one explains it a bit why there are so many frames because here you get various equipment for these soldiers. And molding quality seems to be okay. Of course you won't use all this stuff at once so some of this items will be left for your next build which is really cool because it might be handy in your next diorama projects and again molding quality seems to be fine so I don't have any uh, anything to complain about let's say. Next we have a smaller sprue with rifles and machine guns actually only rifles from what I can see machine guns come on the next one but still molding quality seems to be okay it's just a matter of careful painting all this stuff and you'll be okay to use it in your diorama. Here we have another plastic sprue. This one is already dedicated to various machine guns and submachine guns. So again, the same level of details as on the previous sprue we saw a few seconds ago. It's just a matter of careful painting. Maybe for some parts it would be easier to paint them on the sprue and then glue together with some parts. For example here you can notice that magazine is molded separately. Okay. And next we have smaller sprue with various pistols and also side bags which will be also handy for MPs. And as you can see we have pistols in holsters. We have them without them. So it might be also a useful feature. Here you can check these parts from the opposite side. Okay. 
and one more plastic sprue. This one is already dedicated to two plastic figures. And here at the same time we get some items to use with these figures, which is a bit different from what we saw on the previous sprue. But again, the overall design is similar, so we get separate hands, cats, and one piece torso, and of course separate heads. And I don't see any, I would say, significant issue here, so it's just a matter of assembling all this stuff together. And last but not the least is this parts map, because as you remember, plastic sprues were not marked for the part numbers. So here you have the part numbering. It might be handy in case you will be confused in some steps during the assembly process. So that's all for this kit. It should be already available in Modelimax webshop. In my opinion, it's really useful addition if you want to build a US MPs on the Jeep. It might be an interesting diorama project. And of course it will be handy also. It will be handy also as a sole project maybe. Because I saw some guys doing the, let's say, driver uh, part of the Jeep with a steering wheel. And that's pretty much all on the special stand. It will be also an interesting project. It is all limited with your imagination as usual. And you can buy this kit in Modelimax webshop, so it should be already available for purchase. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!